What are we even doing here? Well, I got my order from Rainbow Tomatoes Garden uh, just a couple of days ago, and I thought, you know, I'd make one of these low effort videos where uh, I open up the box and show you what I got. And then you'll see uh, what's to come or what might not be to come. Okay. We've got a got our rainbow tomatoes garden stuff that we get. Okay, we're getting used to this stuff. Put this someplace safe, right? Be well packed. Oh man, so many tins. So many tins. What what all did I get? Here we go. Tidewater herring row. I think this is Cheeky Dan throwing something in for me. Wow. Okay. Genuine fresh river herring row. Fantastic. I guess I'm gonna use this as a spread on something. We'll figure out what we're supposed to do with it. Okay. Bubble wrap. Okay, oh here's um here's some Japanese stuff. Yeah, these are some uh, Nisui Iwashi Misoni. Is that how you say it? You know, it's been a long time since I did my Japanese episode, so that research is gone. What kind of newspaper is this, Dan? Oh, we got some uh, Conservas de Combados small sardines. I like these a lot when I reviewed them, and now that I've eaten so many small ones recently, I kind of want to check out these again and, and, and see how they stack up against, especially the Uritas, but the Ramon Peñas and all them. Oh, and the Espinolers too. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, here's um, Mouet d'Arvor Sardinettes. So these are, um, I guess, little, little pilchards. Okay, very excited about that. I'm all about little pilchards. Sardinias, sardinettes. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is Wildfish Cannery. We just had their gooey duck and it was so good. And uh, I guess maybe this is in cooperation with Barnacle Foods. Octopus in bullwhip hot sauce. Want to make sure this is nice and in focus. Yeah. Vintage 2021. Yeah, so this is octopus. I got some octopus that we haven't tried yet. I got some Wayumar octopus. I'm kind of holding out on the Wayumar. I don't know why. It's just like, it's expensive. So until I have an idea about like how I want to do the video, I sort of don't want to blow it. But I'm so curious, right? Oh, and then um, here's Scout, we had their lobster, and now we're gonna try their trout with dill. I saw so many people get it on the subreddit, and I was super jealous. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Let's just get let's get the box out of here. Huh? Oh, how exciting is this? Look at all these. He makes it like Christmas. Looks great. And um, I think what we're gonna do is when I find something that I wanna try, I'm gonna open it up and we're just gonna have some fun with it. Actually, you know what? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get into these C to C sardinias, right? Because you might have noticed spoon. Spoon! What's he doing with the spoon? Well, 
I'll tell you. I've got a new strategy for using the espinoler sauce. Oh yeah, I've got a little bit of um, espinoler hot here that I'm using up. I think I cranked about half of this bottle into the Bloody Mary, okay? That was insane. And you know, I love espinoler sauce. Oh, golly, these are beautiful. Just when you think you know the lay of the land when it comes to small sardines, you just get knocked out all over again. Me and Fiberside's been saying, good kitties showing their bellies, right? These guys are uh, packed in, belly up. You see all this nice pearly white skin? Cowabunga. So here's, here's the deal. We open up the sauce. Cool, cool, cool. And then we have our spoon. I think you see where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah, so espinal sauce, it's kinda, um, They're very Pena. Yeah, I wanna say these are more like the Penas than the Yoritas or the Espinolars. Sure. So, um, but this Espinolar sauce, it's so runny, man. It goes all over the place. If you just pour it on the Deans, it flows off into the plate and into the can and you never get it back. And But, but what if you had a spoon, huh? And you just put a little bit like this. And then when you go to eat it, You get all that vinegar all up in your mouth. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I can't decide if I like the hot um, better than the regular. Do they sell the hot in the big one? In the big, big, big 750 milliliter? That texture is almost like, it's almost like creamy. I don't know, you know, you don't want a sardine to be creamy, right? But it's good. So yeah, these little, little bottles, you can, la la la, la la la, la 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 la, la. You know, you can really, you can really work it out. With a big bottle, I don't know. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer sauce from the big bottle into small bottles and then that's that's how we'll do it. Okay, let's keep opening these uh, little newspaper guys, huh? Oh yeah, more of these. I had to make sure to stock up because these are these are party time over rice. That's that's my uh, that's my good deal. Oh we got some hagoromo. Hagoromo? Yeah. Yeah so these are kind of like um, sliced up and they're in the um, soy sauce and stuff. Yeah. Super good. And uh, I bet this is another one. You see all these Japanese things. They're like oval. Elliptical? How many did I get? Oh, okay. Here's um, here's uh, Nisui. Oh, Dan threw this. He said he threw this one in because it was super dented. But it's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay, what's this? This looks like a uh, Ramon Pena box. Yeah, senor. Um, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Oh, it's King Oscar, uh, the Royal Selections, and these are basil, oregano, and garlic. So I haven't had this kind. I've only had those spicy ones that you saw me eat. I haven't snuck any other ones around. Uh, more of these, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, more uh, muet d'oeuvre. And uh, what do we got, sardinettes with uh, little peppers? Yeah, of course, of course we do. Let's take a sardine break. Gosh, these are so good. Mm-hmm. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. A little more. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Wish you guys were here. What the heck is this? Thing is, I don't remember what I, um. <laughs> Should I show you? Yeah, show us. This is the big boy of Ramon Pena Sardinius. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is 40 to 50. So these guys are packed in here, right? This is like twice the size of a normal tin. Uh, and this is, I've only become aware recently that there's like a silver tier and a gold tier of Ramon Pena. And I had become pretty familiar with the gold tier and those pilchards that I had, they were like four fives, they were silver. So curious to see how these stack up to the, to the you know, the gold in the round tin, like we're, we're used to seeing. I don't know, but look at this, I couldn't resist. Boy, more uh, Moet d'Arvor. I, I, I guess I, I was really impressed with them when I tried the, the French ones the other day. This is, uh, oh, Au Poivre de Sichuan. So these are like peppers? Yeah. Yeah, Sichuan peppers? Are those little, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know anything. Oh, okay. And then we have um, King Oscars in spicy cracked pepper. And I think this is this. Now I've the, the I have acquired a Tapatio uh, King Oscar that I'll try eventually. I'm not going to tell you how I got it and that I want to spoil the surprise. But you know, I'm almost done with all the King Oscar flavors. I think unless they invent more. Okay, another one of those. These are cheap enough to where I can have a stunt can, you know? I can I can shoot B-roll and I won't be afraid to, you know, knock it off or something. What is this? Oh, I love forgetting. Oh yeah, these some uh, Matisse small sardines. I tried these uh, such a long time ago and People mention them all the time. I think they're easy to find. I just want to be able to recommend them or not recommend them and know what I'm talking about or know what other people are talking about. So I'm going to try them all over again, especially now that I've got more um, small sardine experience, you know? And then, huh, I don't remember this. Uh, Jose Gourmet small sardines in olive oil. I may already have a can of these that I, um, this is a weird picture. This looks like it was made with computers and stuff. This doesn't look like hand drawn like the other ones. Uh, I, I may have these on the shelf and I just wanted these to eat. I'm gonna have to check. I don't recognize this picture though, so. So that's it, man. That's the bottom of the box. Uh, I wish I had I wish I had more, but I think this is gonna tide me over for a while. You know, I I, I have like my first order I ever got from uh, from Dan. I have cans from that one that I haven't reviewed yet, haven't looked at them. You know, I think about half of that order is is eaten. But mm. I'm starting to um, I'm starting to do that thing where. Um, where I got a lot of cans in the house, which um, for a while I didn't like, and now I'm starting to get used to it. But I don't know, man. I'm looking over there, and I'm looking at these, and I'm adding them up in my head. And um, uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start going through these a little faster. I may have to go through some of this recreationally you know, in private, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 
Hey, I should have remembered it when I was filming this, but I was in the Dean zone. Special thanks to Rami Husami, who came up with the idea for eating the espinollard fish in the spoon. Great idea, great fun, you gotta try it. Just goes to show I've got a real brain trust in the comments section here. Anyway, if you don't wanna miss the opening of any of these special cans, here we go. Subscribe, of course, and if you really wanna see one of these cans soon, make a case for it in the comments, okay? Bye.